Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Mark's mom questions new relationship. That's also my name. This isn't about me. I'm single. Hit me up. This is about the ugly dude from Love During Lockup. He makes 600000 a year and dates women in prison. Doesn't that add up? You know, if I made $600,000 a year, I would simply go to the club. And I'd wear a t-shirt that says, I make 600000 a year. I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, obviously. But it's got to be great seeing what Mark's mom thinks about his new prison relationship. If you've never seen this show before, it's uh, what the show is called. Love During Lockup. Literal. So let's just hop right into this shit. But before I do, did you guys know I actually do stand-up comedy and post every single set over on my second channel, youtube.com slash Mark Karski? And all the chairs are in a circle, so we're all facing each other. You know, like in kindergarten when you did like the big fabric thing? The rainbow? Did you guys do that? Or was that just, was I at a special school? Because <laughs> that was like a big thing for us. We got excited. Even though it's fucking dumb, it's just... You just lift up a big blanket that you're holding. Dude, kids are idiots. I have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. And in the series, I vlog in the car talking about the set I'm about to do. Then I show the entire set. Then I podcast breaking down how the set went. Like, you get to see open mic one to set 131 I just posted. Like, you get to see how bad it was to not as bad now. I think people are interested, like, what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. And nobody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Mark But let's make fun of this Mark. Every Mark I've ever met sucks. I'm feeling great about turning 30. I've already got under my belt more experiences than most people get in a lifetime. His looks always freak me out. And also, it sounds like he's reading from a script. Like, why can't he talk about how he feels being 30 by himself? I'm doing very well for myself. I'm really making headway with Alexi. I'm going to break it off with the other girls. And I just want to know if you'd be my girlfriend. Imagine her saying no. Like, in what fucking world is a girl in prison who's talking to a guy who makes 600000 a year is going to say no to this offer? I would date this guy. I'm going to pretend to be a chick in prison. What do you think? I will be your girlfriend. I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy to hear that, too. Sorry, I got to go. Time's up for me. I have to go back to prison. I mean, I think he might be into these, like, prison chicks for some fucking reason. But he's also on the show, you know? I get he makes a lot of money, but being on TV is pretty enticing. All he has to do is talk to these bitches. That's easy. Even though it sounds silly to ask someone 2,000 miles away to be your girlfriend, she's getting out in a few months, and I'm ready to go to the next step with her. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. Hey, I wish you could be here. What kind of fucking name is that? Alexius? What you gonna do, take over Rome? That name is a red flag, buddy. I've never met an Alexius. I wish I could be there with you, too. I'm gonna send you a video game for your birthday. Oh, thanks so much. I'll, I'll only have five months left till I get out. Five months left. I'll finally get to meet you in five months, girlfriend. Five months, dude. She's locked up. You're not gonna fuck anybody else? How do you become exclusive with somebody in prison, dude? I don't get this. Somebody explain this to me. How do you not meet a free woman and be like, wow, this is already so much better? And it's not like there's not hotter chicks outside who are free. Yeah, yeah we're going to do some amazing things. And you're going to have a bright future with me. Yeah, I'm sure she's reformed. I would love to know what she got locked up for. But then I might have to watch the show and I would never do that. Lexi and I are making a lot of plans together, talking about what she can do when she gets out. And I can tell she's really in it. I think we have a magical connection. Oh. <sniffs> Woof. She's a fucking dog, dude. None of this makes sense. He's got to have a deal with WeTV or something, or he's a psychopath. I genuinely, I was just sitting here thinking about it a little bit. I think this might all be fake. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense at all. Dude, if I made $600,000 a year, my penis would fall off. Like, why are you paying their commissary? I know he said in a past episode that it's cheaper, but you think the price of them isn't going to go up when they're out of prison? Like, just go to the club and get bottle service and be like, look, money. I bought those bottles, and I'm not even going to drink them. Ladies, would you like some? I made the right choice. How do you think you're going to take me yet? I've been thinking about it. I'm still waiting to hear from your PO. I think yeah, your PO is going to be our chaperone. All right. <laughs> Instead of talking, instead of asking your father, hey, sir, may I marry your daughter? I'm going to ask your P.O. Hey, Mr. or Mrs. P.O., may I date your 
parolee. Yeah, exactly. I got to make a good impression on your parole officer. Dude, this guy's hilarious. I'm not really sure how, like, parole officers work, but she's going to fuck her parole officer. Right, and if I do right for three years, then I'll terminate the rest of my probation and parole. Then you have a fresh start. I can't wait. Then you'll have a fresh start. It's not on your record or anything. People aren't going to judge you forever based off of this. It's on international television. I can't wait. I'll see you soon. So, comparatively to an entire lifetime, but five months. Bye, babe. Enjoy your party. All right, will do. I keep on thinking how awesome it would be if Lexi could be here for my birthday. She's creative, and she said she's a variety pack of fun. <laughs> She said she's a variety pack of fun. Yeah, that makes me think she's fucking crazy because she's in prison. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to keep saying that as if he's watching this. I'm a variety pack of fun. I might just slash your tires. Might commit arson. You never know. He was talking to a girl that shot up her grandma's house. This dude doesn't give a fuck. I see how he makes so much money. He has terrible risk assessment. But there's always next year. Right now, the fact that she's calling me is special enough. Okay. What do you think? I know I'm pausing a lot, but it's my fucking show. Doesn't it seem like he's reading off of a script, dude? These aren't genuine thoughts you're having. People don't talk like that. He doesn't even talk like that. Of, of what? Everyone? My friends. Your friends yeah. are interesting. And, and I was chatting with, with Brianna earlier. She's, she's lovely. And friends are interesting and free. Isn't it weird how they're not confined by four walls legally? And then just, and she's so cute. She's this really nice girl. You should like get together. Well, I don't know where you're going with this, but I'm I... taking things to the next level with Lexi. Yeah, that's good, dude. Anybody else? Would you guys fuck his mom? I think I would. Not even just out of spite of him, just because I would have sex with her. You know, if she put on some makeup and maybe showered, wouldn't look too bad for a 70. Okay. She's getting out soon, and I think she's really going to turn and into how, me. How, and how, right, but you know very little about her. I know very little about her mom, but I know she's going to turn a new leaf, okay? I know what she did in prison, and that's the worst thing about her. It's up from here. I think Mark, to some degree, is caught up in the moment of this situation ship, and it's very unlikely that it's going to last. I'm not holding my breath. No. Well, it's going to last at least five months until she gets out, and he meets her, and he's like, wow, this sucks. I hope she's been in there for like 10 years, and she's like, can we go to Toys R Us? He's like, I got some bad news for you. You're making life more complicated than it needs to be, as long as... It's so romantic that I'm, I'm, I'm like basically taking this girl that is in a bad situation and she's gonna turn it around with me together. Turn this bad situation around with me together. Dude, this isn't like a business you guys are trying to make work. This is somebody who has fucked up legally and is dealing with the ramifications. I'm really excited to start a life with somebody whose past is only knowing crime. She's really gonna love getting a job. Oh wait, she doesn't, dude, he makes... 600,000 a year. It's really frustrating that my mom keeps questioning my relationship with Alexis because I'm the one that makes this choice. I think my mom's in denial a little bit about my decision and just about the fact that I'm grown. I don't think she can even believe that her little boy is now 30. Yeah, that's it. She's in denial of how old you are. She seemed like she was thinking clearly and speaking the truth, honestly. Unlike him when he talks to the camera, he's like, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work out because it's not. Why would it? Because remember, he's talking to like six at a time. So if this doesn't work out, he could stay on the show. Who cares about this bitch? There's no way this show's gonna pay her. Right now, they could just pay her in a packet of cigarettes for the month. That just got uploaded literally 23 minutes ago. So if you guys have any good like love after lockup, love during lockup clips, send them my way. Because I think this show is so interesting, dude. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Can you guys like maybe let me know down below why somebody would do this? Have you guys ever done this? This is such a niche thing or else it wouldn't be on TV. If this was normal, we wouldn't give a shit. It's obviously on TV because it's wrong. These fucking people, these people are dating prisoners, dude. They're not even allowed to go visit them and they're dating. You can't even ask them like how their day was because it's the same every day. Like if I was dating a prisoner, I would feel bad being like, oh, my day was great, yeah. Went for a drive, masturbated outside, you know, just doing freedom shit, America. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere. I appreciate you. If I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel, maybe consider going over on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears, dude. That's why most YouTubers like mute and bleep out swears. When I hear a bleep noise, I genuinely get so mad because it doesn't make sense to me why all the videos get demonetized, especially if there's views on them. But like everybody on earth 
swears. I've never met a person who doesn't. And if I did, I wouldn't trust them at all. It would actually creep me out. So like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.